Yo, what is up? It's JJ, and I'm following up on the video of my phone falling while trying to balance it against a wallet. So I figured, why not go ahead and get a wallet-friendly tripod? And so that was basically the criteria that a tripod for the iPhone had to fit either the pocket or more suitably for me at least, the wallet. So ordered a bunch of them. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give a first take look as far as how they work. You can see that I have five tripods in front of me. Um, they are all totaling, I believe over $150, but know that I'll be returning four of them and keeping one at the end of this video. And I'm gonna start first with the smallest one. And this here is 20 bucks and it is called the Kinu Stance Mini Tripod Stand Pocket Size Portable Cell Phone Something Something. Um, one thing I like about this is that instead of mounting it on the side as most tripods do, uh, you actually can just insert this in the lightning port of the phone. The drawback of course is that with the rumored new iPhones that it's most probably gonna be USB-C. Um, so this thing might be outdated already. But I'm gonna go ahead and open this. And as far as a testing phone, I personally love the iPhone mini, but this of course is old being the 13. So I do have a 14, rather a 13 Pro, but it is the same size as the current phones right now. So let's go ahead and open this one. And look at that. This thing is tiny. Um, as mentioned, it's supposed to be like a keychain. It does have an integrated bottle opener. And I'm gonna go ahead and test it out. The top right here actually, uh, for the lightning port rather, you can adjust it so that way it can stay leveled and it would look like something like this. You can go completely, or rather I think it's supposed to be like that, completely flat. So let's go ahead and attach the 13 Pro and I do have a Rhino Shield case on it. Let's see if there's any issues with that. And there you go. For the Kinu, we're gonna do a speed test here. Three, two, one. Ta-da. So right away, I do like the fact that it is super compact, as they all should, but I do like the ability to kind of tilt it immediately. Um, as far as setting up, it's really fast because, again, it's using the lightning port. Uh, the the connector itself is actually plastic. Um, that may or may not be a good thing. I don't know if it was uh, metal. It possibly wouldn't chip or break, but I do imagine that once this thing breaks, you're no longer gonna be able to connect your phone. Uh, so that could be the potential con for this tripod, but it is super fast um, because again, we're all used to plugging in, or at least before plugging in our iPhone to charge via the lightning port. But I will say again that with the imminent iPhone that's supposed to come out, um, the lightning port may basically be an old thing. Uh, and so unless Kinu makes an updated version with USB-C, unless it already exists, then I can see this being used. But so far, I would rate this, I'm gonna come up with a rating system right now. Five out of five for the speed of attaching your phone onto it. I would say three out of five as far as portability, only because that uh, this thing is a keychain. So as long as you're carrying keys or have an existing uh, key ring, then you can go ahead and attach it. But again, my criteria was that it's supposed to fit in the wallet. And while it is thin, I don't think this is gonna fit in my wallet. Next up is the Anozor mini tripod, small tripod with universal phone holder and cold shoe, lightweight phone tripod stand compatible with iPhone 14, blah, blah, blah. This thing is actually the cheapest one and it is 20 bucks, but right away I can say one out of five for portability because this absolutely will not fit in a key ring, um, let alone my wallet. But let's go ahead and open this. But the only reason why that I wanted to try this out is because it's the only one that you can attach um, an accessory via the hot shoe mount. So right away you can see here that this thing is pretty big I mean, I will still say that it's more portable than my other mini tripods. Let me go ahead and mount 
the phone so that way you can kind of see as far as how this thing looks. Three legs, of course, is all, also all plastic, so it's super light, but kind of feels a little cheap. Um, let's see, this part doesn't extend. Looks like you're twisting this to make it tighten. There's no instructions, so I'm figuring it out. Oh, I see. Okay, so you flip open this part, and then you're going to stretch this, and it's all tension, so that way the phone will stay. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Like that. Tripod. And it does look like you can twist it, so let's see how that works. Feels like I'm gonna break it. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how to make this thing vertical. Oh, uh, there you go. But because it doesn't extend up, I guess you would have to mount this thing at the very base of the of the phone. There we go. So. That took a bit, if you can tell, as far as um, a first time mounting the phone onto here. But again, it is the only uh, tripod here in this group that you can attach an, uh, an accessory via the hot shoe mount. So if you did care to mount a, um, an external audio mic, the receiver at least, directly to your phone, uh, then that's great. But again, the reason why that I was looking for a wallet-sized tripod was to make setting up shots uh, while setting up or anything like that, super easy and super fast. And the only real reason that I'm doing that is for B-roll setup shots, like vlog, quote unquote, vlog style shots, where you're capturing yourself as you're doing something. Uh, so for me, I don't necessarily think that I would be attaching the microphone because again, it's very limited uh, as far as where to mount this other than the floor or a table. I think if this were one of those bendy legs where you can kind of attach it and wrap it around an object, then that probably would, would be more useful. So again, if you needed audio and you're talking to the camera, you most likely want this to be eye level height. And this being a pocket tripod, there literally is no height other than it being set on the floor or a table or just a plain old flat surface. So I'm gonna go ahead and test how fast I can do it. Again, this is now officially the second time or third time that I'll be mounting this. Maybe with practice, I imagine anyone could be a little bit faster with it, but let's go ahead and give it a shot in three, two, one. I usually will spread the leg from there, knowing that this thing needs to be mounted from a lower end and it's tension. So you gotta stretch it. The leg just fell down. That's one part, rotate, and there we go. So it's not bad, but it just requires literal strength <laughs> to be able to stretch that tension to mount the phone. Remember that if you're mounting it vertically, you're gonna have to um, mount it lower on the phone so that way there's space for it to rotate. Uh, and let's go ahead and break it down. I got the phone, flip down, the arms there, and then rotate. There you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and rate this now in terms of speed. It's, it's a two, it's a two. Um, maybe even a one out of five, only because it requires, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then rotate. Oh wait, seven, eight, then nine, and then 10. So about 10 different steps in order to mount the, the, the phone. Um, I basically counted every touch point as a step. So that was 10. Uh, as far as portability, one out of five, probably zero. 
Again, if the criteria was for this to be able to fit in your pocket and or wallet, this thing doesn't fit. But I would only give um, an extra point for use for uh, functionality, and that's only because that this is the only one with a hot shoe mount. On to the next one. So on to the next, and I lied to you because this is actually the cheapest in the bunch here. This thing is 689. It's the mini size, and it is the iMangu iPhone kickstand, iPad mini kickstand, multi-angle holder tablet, such and such. So this one for sure, I can tell that it should fit the wallet. It's size almost like a credit card. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and open it. This is what it looks like. Super thin. And again, there's no, oh, there's instructions here. And yeah, it says that you can, size of a credit card folds flat to fit easily into the wallet. Uh, the way it works is basically you are leaning your phone uh, against it, which is what I was similarly doing with my wallet. So let's give this a shot. Uh, okay. All right. Right away, this is going to be a return, even though I thought this was actually the one that I thought I would be keeping because it is the one of the slimmest. Um, and I'll give reasons why immediately that we should be returning this rather for anyone is because this whole thing is made by pla is made with plastic, and that's a good thing for it to be light. Um, the actual kickstand here is made out of metal, and I kind of feel like the other moving parts should have been made with metal. Um, the part where I know that I was like already cringing on is there's this little tab right here, and this tab is going to prevent your iPhone or your phone from slipping because otherwise if you kept it up and you mounted it, it's just gonna slide. So you have to kick open this plastic tab, but you know like those toys where um, the plastic is connected into like this frame and then you like rock it back and forth until you disconnect it or you, like, you twist the part out, like um, those model toys. That's basically what this feels like. And so over time, because you're rocking it back and forth, um, I'm pretty sure this thing is going to snap off and that way, and at that point, you won't be able to use this. Um, one other thing that I didn't like is you can't get a pure vertical. So right now, it's almost in like a 45 degree angle, which is the lowest. And that's unfortunate uh, because if you were either filming yourself or, again, propping it, your angles is very limited. And only when you go on a lower, or rather the tabs up top, you're just making it lower. So I kind of wish that you can make this whole thing vertical, but, beca but because you can't, um, yeah, this is absolutely a zero out of five for usability. Um, yeah, this one will be a return. All right, next up, we're getting to the more expensive territory, and this one is $35. This is the Pocket Tripod, what brand is this actually? Geometrical Pocket Tripod Pro. Really has some fancy uh, packaging. On the back, it even says limited lifetime warranty, universal compatibility. Um, let's give it a shot. Okay, I don't know what this universal fit is. Not sure what this uh, card is, but okay. Again, very premium packaging. And oh man, I gotta open tabs. I feel like packaging alone costs more than half, oh my God. This is very complicated because there's all these different pieces in here. Okay, important, do not press the center pin against the top. Okay, there's a lot to read here. Never bend the two halves. This will damage the center hinge. Okay. It says that you can fit this into a wallet. So again, that's what I was attracted to. Taking this thing out. 
this is what it looks like. Another credit card looking uh, size tripod here. Basically like a transformer. Okay, I don't wanna break this. This is also plastic. Um, and the fact that there was a warning that says do not. Okay, I guess I really should read this. Okay, let's give this a shot. There you go. So even with the case, this is actually the largest piece. I think I could have used a smaller one. Um, but the way it works is that there's like these little adapters and it'll hook onto the phone. And this is what allows you to actually rotate the camera. So you can see that this one has the most angles so far from leaning forward uh, without falling and then rotating it backwards. So look at that, you can even go up. Well, of course, if the phone gets too heavy, the whole thing is gonna tip over. So that's a pretty good range here um, from, from this tripod. Again, this is the geometrical something tripod. So there it is, I'm gonna put this in my wallet. It's not as thin as the other one, but technically fits. We'll do um, a speed test now. All right, in three, two, flip it over, put the legs up, put it down, and then adjust. Yeah? All right, in terms of ratings, I would say speed is four out of five. It actually isn't too bad after getting used to it. I think the setting up and all the instructions was definitely intimidating. Uh, but after setting it up and using the proper adapters, I think being able to go from wallet to twisting it 180 degrees and folding up the feet flat, pretty fast, actually. Um, and then the functionality, I'm forgetting what the other rating was. I would actually say four out of five as well. It's actually pretty good because you do have an extended range as far as angle goes. So if you needed to go, um, you know, just as high like that or vertical, you can achieve that. And it has a pretty generous um, angle if you were to actually lean back. Uh, again, it not being a tripod with those three legs, it makes it, uh, I would imagine, a little bit harder to balance unless you had a level, a level ground. So that is the only con that I can see. And the fact that it is plastic, but there are hinges and ball joints. So I do think that because it's uh, independent with that, um, it probably wouldn't break. But again, anything that's plastic, I feel like it could break much faster. But given that it does have a, lim a limited lifetime warranty, maybe you can be rest assured that if it does break, you can get it replaced. But I imagine save your receipts and save anything that shows proof of where you purchased it from. But 35 bucks, it's definitely one of the more premium ones. Uh, but I do like the fact that it can fit in the wallet. Um, oh, that was the other rating. So five out of five that it can fit in your wallet. So yes, and the actual functionality, four out of five, and then speed, four out of five. And now a save, not necessarily the best for last, but we'll see, but definitely the most expensive. Now this is the Peak Design, if you know anything about them. Um, they run typically a premium price and this one definitely fits in that bill because this tripod alone is 80 bucks. Uh, that is more than what I would want to pay for a portable tripod, so right away I have a feeling that I want to return this because this is super expensive for uh, a mobile tripod. But again, Peak Design usually has great products. Um, I own a few products from them, so we'll see how this thing uh, stands up. Whoa, this thing is heavy. It comes with a cleaning cloth. I'm not so sure if I'll, I'll need that. But right away, this, this thing is heavy. Um, so even that alone, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Usually if it's heavy, that means it's actually made of better materials, which it is. This thing is, it's metal, it has a really good rubber backing here. Um, kind of similar to the $6 
tripod kind of similar in terms of design because the way that this thing works is you spread out the feet and it becomes a tripod. This thing is going to be very similar. You spread out the feet and it becomes that tripod. The biggest difference is that um, the Peak Design mobile tripod, the way that it works is actually MagSafe. So this thing would actually live on the back of your phone. Um, Peak Design does create iPhone cases that uh, are compatible with their range of accessories, but again, uh, you'd be pay paying a pretty premium price for it. Um, I think with the case and this alone, it's well over like $130 just to get that into that system, when let alone tripods can cost much cheaper than that. But I'm gonna go ahead and test it. Um, and again, I didn't order it with the iPhone case because me being a fan of the 13 mini, uh, Peak Design does, at least for these accessories, they don't just support the mini. But because I do have the 13 Pro, it's gonna be very similar um, to what most people would have, which is usually not the mini. So if you hear that, um, it's a magnet, and it goes into the back here. But again, if you use your case, uh, I assume it's actually gonna be much more secure because their cases have a built-in magnet as well. So right away, what's cool about this is that you're gonna have a tripod on you no matter what. And look at that. Oh, <laughs> uh, again, I don't have the case, so that's why it, it popped out. But if I'm gonna give a rating right away in terms of speed, uh, this is 10 out of 5. This ex far exceeds my rating of uh, it being out of 5 because this whole thing lives on the back of the phone. So that way you would have a tripod on you at all times. You don't have to take it out from your wallet or uh, take out your keys. It's literally on the back. But again, I don't have the case. All right, so let's do a speed test. And three, two, one. Super fast. So as far as rating wise, uh, for it to fit in the wallet, um, I guess it kind of doesn't apply, but I'll still give it a five out of five because it fits, it rather it goes on your phone directly. And so you're gonna have a tripod no matter what. Um, as far as speed, as I mentioned, it's probably the fastest because it's already on there. So immediately five out of five. Now as far as functionality, I think that is something I don't know, it's, that's kind of up to you because for me personally, I love using a pop socket. Um, even with a mini, I still like the fact that I'm able to kind of hold it like this um, with my fingers and I can impromptu use it um, as uh, for viewing mode rather, right? So not for content creation, there's no ability to change the angle, but I'm able to go ahead and rest it on its side uh, if I'm gonna be able to watch something. Uh, but it, it, again, it's not a tripod with the pop socket. So that is the reason why that I was looking for a pocket tripod because I still want to use my pop socket because I also use it for the car. Um, and so for me, that was the main criteria that I needed for it to work also with the pop socket. Now, if you went all in with uh, Peak Design, you for sure will not be able to use a pop socket. You're gonna have to use their system. So if you're used to holding your phone without any extra grip on the back, then definitely uh, it would be for you. But again, the biggest caveat is that this thing is heavy. I don't know the grams right now because the other pocket tripods, I didn't have to think about it, but immediately when I took this out um, from the case, it's, it's pretty heavy. Now, again, that correlates to higher quality, so it is metal, and I highly doubt that this thing would break. So really great design, but think about that. And as far as what I would recommend, I actually would narrow it down to these two, the geometrical pocket tripod, which is $35, and the Kinu tripod that is uh, $20. Now, that difference of 15 bucks, and if I had to choose between these two, I would go with the geometric uh, pocket tripod only because I have a feeling that come September 12th, uh, the next Apple event, that this thing will not be used anymore, which is a lightning port. So between these two devices, um, I do recommend the geometrical pocket tripod. 
It is $15 more than the Kinu one, but because the Kinu one has a lightning port, and I do feel like this is gonna be out phase, this geometrical one is universal because it has these adapters that you can fit all different types of phones. And one thing that I didn't even feature is that you can detach this and make it um, a tripod for horizontal, but because I've been focusing more on vertical content, this thing is pretty quick and easy because again, it's flat, can fit in your wallet, and or your purse, so it doesn't take up as much space. You go ahead and flip that over, put the tabs up, set it on the floor so long as it is leveled, and there you go. Now you have a tripod, and if you want more vertical, you can in order to go from there. So that was basically the criteria, is having a tripod that is small enough, that is quick enough, that is somewhat easy enough to use so that way you don't get frustrated when it comes to setting up your, your phone. Um, and that way you can get the shot. Let me know in the comments as far as what you would get, what would you rather see. If you're fans of anything else, like for example, the Peak, uh, Peak Design tripod, go ahead and uh, tell me the reasons why you would rather be using that. But thank you for watching.